Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to Shitty Bumps. Welcome back to Caterpillar Fury. Uh, 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 yeah. uh. Shit is exactly as intense as you remembered from yesterday. What was he so angry about to begin with? Yeah, fucking, did we wake up his slumber? Whoa, okay. No, he was just angry, like, at the beginning. Like, when we showed up, he was already angry about something. Fuck! And then we just didn't help. Yeah. Like, we just decided right away that this was like, THIS NEEDS TO STOP! <laughs> and it wasn't, it wasn't like, I'm sorry, do you need anything? Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you okay? Can I get you a cocktail? Anything? Can Gosh, what happened? <laughs> and all he wanted was that. Yeah. Like, immediately when you say that, he's like, It's just that nobody listens to me anymore. Y yeah. Meanwhile, we're just, like, crushing his jugular. <laughs> uh, no one understands me. Well, one. maybe they'll be, under they'll be able to understand you once we destroy your trachea! <laughs> trachea is a breathing thing, yeah? Game grumps, motherfucker. Yes, your trachea is, uh, I believe, uh -huh. connected to your esophagus. Oh, you were saying esophagus like an idiot. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> it's near your larynx. <laughs> you've never, you've never seen that. That's that's one of my favorite uh, Saturday Night Live skits of all time. Oh no! It's Alec Baldwin uh, in a. It's like a soap opera. It's called Doctors, Nurses, and Patients, and. Uh, he, like, he's a doctor who can't pronounce anything. Oh. And he, he, like, looks at his Yale banner and he's like, There's nothing they teach you at Yale Medical School that can prepare you for this. <laughs> so stupid, but I really love it. <laughs> Alec Baldwin always kicks ass on that show. Alec Baldwin's the man. He's, like, one of the, like, very few dudes who, like, uh, was not a member of Saturday Night Live, except he has his own DVD anyway. Like, the best of Alec Baldwin. Really? Yeah. Because he just rules at it. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, that's pretty funny. They should have just like hired him on for like a season. Why not? He's like, here he is. Well, I guess it would have made it less special. But then again, he's hosted what 17 times. Yeah, now? so it did count. Whoa! I... Did I knock him? Did I knock him? I don't did know. I give him a knock. Ah, oh, come on. I think on. we gotta start a little bit earlier, maybe. It, was, it points me like slightly splayed a little bit. Yeah, I thought you were doing that on purpose for some reason. There we go. I fucked that bitch up. <laughs> now he's taking a swim. Yeah. Motherfuckers take a swim. Drown while we fucking stomp you. Yeah. Stomp the yard. What did oh, I do? Yeah. Oh, he just turned into sand. Whoa. Oh, that's fucked up. That's so scary and creepy. So is that like a fear that ever, that like the caterpillars have when they're like, that, I'm getting too old. I'm going to turn to sand. Dude, uh, the, did you ever watch? Did you ever watch a show called David the Gnome? Oh, yeah. Do, yeah, you remember that? I think it was from Scandinavia or something. Mm -hmm. But they used to show it on Nickelodeon. And in the last episode of David the Gnome... Spoiler alert for anyone who desperately wants to watch this. You, Shit, just I better cover my ears then. Yeah, ear muffet. Just tell everyone at home. I, I can't handle this kind Dude, of pressure. Dude, they fucking die. Like, he and his wife die. Like, of old age. And they're like... Uh, I guess because in different cultures, like they're not as like scared about death as we are. Like, about telling kids about it and stuff. Wow. Um... And so, like, they say goodbye to all their forest friends, they hug everyone goodbye, and then they turn into trees. <laughs> and I remember being, like, six years old, and it was the first time I'd ever thought about, like, more mortality and shit like that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God, no! I was all fucking disturbed for the next, like, two years. It's like, you can't go near a tree because it yeah, makes you sad. Like, it's, yeah. And contemplate like, things. Yeah, you walk into a forest and you're like, oh, there's dead gnomes everywhere! <laughs> That's totally something that I would have done, too. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, like, you, because when you're confronted with that stuff for the first time, you're like, oh, my God. And then as you get older, you're like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Death, eh. Yeah. It just means I won't be alive anymore. Yeah. It means I won't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> Fucking bills. Jesus. You know what? Honestly, like, I feel like I st uh, maybe this is too deep for Game Grumps. I don't know. But I feel like I started living, like, a more fulfilling life when I realized I was going to die. Because I was like, you know what? I got a limited amount of time here, so I'm just going to do a lot of fucking cool shit all the time and do exactly what I want. And, uh, and yeah, life has been better since then. I'm so down with that. Super, yeah, super heavy, right? Let's go to, like, hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's your dream trip? Yeah, just go ahead and travel. Yeah. Oh, dude, traveling is the fucking best. Yeah. Experiences over possessions. That's how you should spend your money. Yeah. I believe. You know what else is good to spend your money on? Horse? 
Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say blowjobs, yeah. but I guess blowjobs from horse. I guess horse kind of covers the whole the whole kitten <laughs> caboodle. Oh gosh! Oh jeez! Like if you're like, yeah, I could go for a blowjob right now, but I could really go for some vaginal. Oh. <laughs> 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 that is the weirdest thing you could ever say to a hooker. Excuse me. <laughs> How much for vaginal? <laughs> what if she like across the way? What's the going rate? Yeah, she's at the other side of the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> Excuse me! Miss! I'd rather put effort into yelling than walking towards you. I don't want to walk over there and waste my time if you're not going to do vaginal. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, no? You can nod. Is it pronounced vaginal? <laughs> I have a lot of questions! <laughs> <laughs> If you could fill out this comment and question form! Yeah. <laughs> it has yes, no, and maybe questions. Forget the maybe? Nah. This is a standardized form! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the best. Oh, I couldn't even imagine hiring someone to put their lips around my wiener. It's it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I can't even like hire somebody. Like if I hire movers, right. I'm like I'm like I <laughs> could just too personal. I could easily do this yeah. like myself and yeah. and 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 it feels weird because like then you just have people doing it right. and you're paying them. Yeah. So you're allowed to just sit there and watch. Yeah. But you just feel like a fucking sack. Yeah. No. <laughs> It's the best. <laughs> the um. So I always try to buy them water, or you know, like, yeah. uh, like lemonade and stuff, and it's like, here you go, guys, and then I'll just sit there in my chair and be like, this is why I hired you. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be rich. <laughs> what? Well, uh, Quickly, monkey butler. <laughs> I think I'll just go into the fucking lighthouse area. Again. Oh yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, no, d I I could never get a hooker. Like, uh, even even in my virginal days, which went on for way too long, and I was like, I just gotta get rid of this towards the end. I could never, I could never get there. Um, and I think, like... Isn't there a place where it's, like, legal? Oh, outside, yeah. outside of Vegas? Amsterdam. Well, I mean, in America. Oh, in America? I don't know. I think, I think Nevada's the only state where prostitution's legal. But you know what, you know what always struck me as weird? Like, why is prostitution legal, but porn illegal? Like, oh, porn's illegal? No, no, I mean, I, wait, I got that wrong. I got that backwards. Why is prostitution illegal, but porn is legal? Because you're still paying someone to have sex. You're just filming it. That's the only difference. So if I just film my prostitution and release it as porn, is it then legal? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wow. I never, ever, ever Isn't that crazy? About that. Yeah. That's funny. This is the kind of shit I think about all the goddamn time. So if you paid a hooker a hooker to have sex with you sex. and you filmed it and released it as a porno it would then be legal i believe so wouldn't it Whoa. right crazy town dude I that's know. what's happening tonight <laughs> what's ha <laughs> hold on let me get to my call list of holes <laughs> <laughs> No, man, but I was- all I was gonna say was I can never do it because, like, I just- it's- it seems so gross and so dirty. Oh, and, yeah. like, um... Did I ever tell you I got invited to an orgy one time? <laughs> did I not tell you this? <laughs> I don't- I, is this a Game Grumps appropriate story? I- I guess? I guess it is. I didn't do it. Alright, so... The story is, I had, um... I had two friends, and they were a lesbian couple. Uh, let's let's call them Michelle and Janine to protect the innocent. Okay. And um, they were actually called Blushell and Blushell and Menine. Yeah. <laughs> you've found you've cracked the code. <laughs> um, but they were uh, they were my good friends and they were just beautiful. Um, and uh, they were a couple. And of course, when you're a guy and you have a couple of like lesbian girlfriends, even though you know they're not into dudes at all. You're always secretly hoping, like, maybe I will be the guy who will be invited into the threesome. <laughs> like, the threesome that they're not having, you know? <laughs> and never will. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but so, oh man, what a beautiful, cloudy background to tell this orgy story to. Yep. Um, this is actually a, like a famously hard Yeah, level. it looks really difficult. Oh, uh, right. oh okay. You're all right. Yay. Um, so one day I was just hanging out at their place, and the three of us are on the couch together. 
and uh, we're just playing video games or whatever. And uh, ah, shit! Yeah, oh, there it goes. There you go. And Janine uh, puts her hand on my leg out of nowhere, and she's like, "Dan, uh, we have a proposition for you." And I was like, <laughs> "Go on!" <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> so what? The, your head, inside your head, there's like fireworks and shit going yeah, on. Yeah, like, yeah. Outside, I was like, oh, do tell. But on the inside, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so um, what it turned out to be was they were swingers and they were part of this like underground orgy club of like these people in New York, they would get together and so I got invited into a 25 person orgy where the breakdown was six dudes and 19 girls. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So I don't I'm gonna do some quick math. That's something like 3.2 girls for every dude. <laughs> and that's like, that's a lot of pressure. That's a <laughs> yeah. lot of pressure. You gotta, you gotta really fucking you gotta cross train for shit like that. Uh, oh no! Oh, that is hard. How about, what? what how oh, I, got, I gotta go on the little cloud. Oh, the cloud. Okay. All right. That well, makes sense. well, it's fucking doing its little. Right. It's little fucking like F fifteen Tomcat <laughs> move. So I didn't end up doing it uh, for a couple of reasons. One because like uh, because of because of that, and also because. I couldn't help, I don't want gonoherpacyphilis, you oh, know? Yeah. And like, I can't assume that fucking everyone else at that orgy is having their first orgy, you know? Like, oh, it's gotta, it's gotta be, it, like, if you, if you like, combined everyone's sexual history together, there have to be like, 1,000 boning cases in that one room, <laughs> which is gross. But the funny part was that, that I wanted to bring up was, they made me like fill out like uh, a form card, like that, like a par. You had to write a paragraph, like you had to submit a headshot, so you were attractive enough to do it. And then like, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I know it was really official. High standards. I know. And then um, you had to fill out like a like a little card saying why you wanted to be in the orgy, like <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know, this is really hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh gosh. Yeah, it's like that. It's like, uh, you know, the comedian Hannibal Burris? Mm -mm. He's a really great comedian, but he has a joke where he talks about, like, uh, like he, he, he applied to work oh at Starbucks, God. and, um, and, like, one of the things he had to fill out to work at Starbucks was, uh, why do you want to work at Starbucks? <laughs> and so he wrote out, because shit isn't working out the way I thought it would. <laughs> 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 oh, so awesome. Uh, okay. Oh, next time on Game Grumps, uh yeah, we'll 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 get that bird cloud thing. I fucking hope so. It, maybe. I can't even imagine like fuck that thing. Just, That's the spirit. Just fuck 